All right, everyone, how's it going? I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jade Elf. And where we last left off, we were just talking to everybody around camp, and now we're ready to head over to wherever we want to head over first. Is that cheese? Yes, it's a giant wheel of yes. cheese. I want to make sure that we did everything we should. We did. Well, here I am. Oh. Oh, we didn't do that one. You were traveling oh, to Minstrel. I she love was a traveling stories minstrel. far too oh. much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Oh, wow. So tell me about Darkspawn. No new stories from Orlay. Do you know any Ferelden legends? There was another story I wanted to hear. Let's start with from top down. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know, and their pride they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Wow. I didn't know all that all that from Darkspawn and we read the codex. Yeah. It's kinda of said that in the uh in the starting cinematic too. It's what the church well at least what the chantry says. The darkspawn are. Ah. Uh. How about Orlais stories? Of course, Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Orlais. Go ahead, sounds interesting. Actually, I don't have time for this right now. Go ahead. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield the sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Wow. Continue, please. I saw that coming. Perhaps we could continue this later. Uh, continue, please. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now, in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Mm. Go on. Did she win the tourney? Perhaps we can continue later. Did she win the tourney? Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence oh, wow. fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Mm -hmm. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. Wow. I was hoping for a happy ending. That's terrible. Um, that's terrible. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, 
for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, we already asked about Darkspawn. Do you know any Ferelden legends? I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chill me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? Oh, wow. She doesn't know we know Flemeth, huh? Even though them two have been talking about Flemeth this whole time. <laughs> Um, yes, I have heard of her. Flemeth. Morgan's mother was called Flemeth. I met a Flemeth in Korakai Wilds. No, I don't believe I've heard of her. Um, yes, I've heard of Flemeth. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Mm. Tell me the whole story. Flemeth was once beautiful. I don't have time to discuss Flemeth right now. Um, tell me the whole story. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret. Many times can he we hear the same story taken from him. in a different Flemeth way? stayed mm -hmm. with Conobar for some years, <laughs> and with his blessing, she practiced her art. And then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. What happened then? Oh, the plot thickens. What happened then? Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osen fled from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the Chasin tribes. They lived there happily for many a year, till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband, and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyeva, they were captured by Conobar's men, and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon, intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle run red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away, and at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chastened men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari Wilds. Uh, apparently there's another story I wanted to hear about. Which one? Dalish Andraste. I know little about your people, but I may be misinformed, and I would hate to offend you. That is why we must learn more about each other. I would not be offended. We don't care about what humans think of us. I would not be offended. I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the elves continued to fight eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The Elves claimed the Dales in the south and settled there in the land of their own. Mm, didn't last, but the humans had to take that from us too. Um, it didn't last. The Elves lived in the Dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the Elven gods and would allow the building of no Chantry. This angered the Chantry and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. 
the Chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the elven cities were sacked and the elven state completely dissolved. Some of the elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrounded the human us up. Rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. What do you know about Andraste? Andraste was the maker's chosen. The Maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace and wisdom enraptured him and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Wow. Did we hear about? Yeah. Short time? Yeah. Okay. Did we finally listen to everybody's all their stories? I think we did. Good. I feel like that was all we did last episode. It was. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, Stan, you're gonna be staying in camp for a while, I think. Yes. We'll take our man Alistair, we'll take Liliana, Indeed. and we will take Indeed. Morgan. Our pup will come with too. All right, so the real question is, what is it that you want to do first? Do we go find the elves in the Brazilian forest? Do we go to the Redcliffe village? Apparently, the aura of Redcliffe is pretty sick right now. Do we go, uh, I think this is DLC. Do we go to the dwarves in the Frostback Mountains? Do we go to uh, Van Loran's men? I think that's also DLC. Do we go to the freaking... Uh, mage tower do we go to soldier's peak that's another dlc or do we go straight to the city where Logan is at i don't think we should go straight to the city um that's where we are right yeah we're here in oh no that's Flemish hut we are somewhere over here lothering we're, we're somewhere here oh then i would say either so that's red cliff village and that's the elves alistair really wanted to go see the red cliff dude we are elves uh let's go see let's go give Alistair the satisfaction of going to Redcliffe. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Ah, that's what they all say. What's on your mind? I'm not going to like the semi. Let me guess, you're an idiot. Can it wait? What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. King Marek? So they're half-brother... So he is royal? <laughs> yes, he's a, he's a royal bastard. <laughs> what? You don't think you might have told me this before? So you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Uh, doesn't that make you an heir to the throne? Why did you wait to tell me this? Um, doesn't that make you the heir to the throne? Make his breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. They don't have DNA I tests would, either, so but they wouldn't be able to confirm. To me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Eh, that's not too bad. 
I think I understand. I can't believe you were so stupid. You should still have told me. Does Loghain know? Yeah, does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Are you sure you're not hiding anything else? You're the heir to the throne then? Why tell me then? Why do I need to know? We can use this to our advantage, actually. Um, I feel like we can use it to our advantage. I just don't know how. So I would want him to. Tell me why I need to know. And I'm also wondering if he's hiding anything else. Which is it? Your decision. Oh, you pick this one. Oh, this is you. Which one's the most important? That's up to you. Uh, we can use this to our advantage. Oh, no, no, I don't like the sound of that, if that's where you're going. It was made very clear to me early on that there's no room for me on the throne. And that's fine by me. Now, All right, he was. Found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle. And more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Um, aren't you as you command, my prince? That's not really what you think, is it? And what does that make me? Uh... That's not really what you think, is it? No, I, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest. King Caelid Erin once famously declared the fate of Red Cliff is the fate of all for Elden. Certainly the castle is the first and last defense for the soul land route into for Elden, and the country has never fallen to any force. Uh, any force that did not first capture Red Cliff. The castle, which despite being three times captured, is popularly described as unassailable, also guards one of the largest and most prosperous towns in for Elden. Red Cliff Village is well situated near the mountain pass to Ozamar. And the Orlesian border, and so serves as the center of the foreign of foreign trade. For these reasons, Red Cliff is accounted an Arling, despite the smallness of it the domain. The inhabitants of Red Cliff Village are primarily fishermen, merchants who ship dwarven goods through the pass from Orle to Denerim. When the entire village smells of smoke fish on certain late autumn mornings, the merchants in their finery do their utmost to pretend otherwise. Alistair. I saw these suspicions were unfounded. However, Alistair was not Eamon's son, but King Merritt's. Eamon sheltered the boy to hide his existence from Queen Rowan, Eamon's sister. All right, well, now we're near Red Cliff. Let's go see about this uh, illness that the Oro has fallen under. Who's that? I Thomas. I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I'm on important business. I need to see our Eamon. What do you mean? Is there a problem? Get out of my way. I have no time for slack jawed fools. What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... You don't know? Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? I've heard all Eamon is sick, if that's what you mean. There's a civil war going on, if you haven't noticed. Is this something I should care about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No army the only thing no people can agree on. Mm -hmm. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry. Nobody Darksman? Does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. 
He's all that's holding us together. Oh, that's the guy that told to Logan off at the Antigen, Arnie's brother. Thing. He's here. Mm. Yes. It's not far. If you'll come with me. Wow. Oh man. Those are all injured people. Yeah, looks like. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alexa? <laughs> It is you, isn't it? It was covered in mud many a times. This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe Loghain's lies? No, not all of us died. Your nephew? Uh, you don't believe Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Kaelin risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Logan well, I mean, he did. <laughs> he did, yeah. Murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I so he's only you. half a lying bastard. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle we drove them back but many perished during the assault i can help you drive them back what evil things are you talking about why are you telling me this what happened then what evil things are you talking about some call them the walking dead decomposing corpses returning to life with a hunger for human flesh they hit again the next night Carl? each night they mm -mm. come with greater numbers with Carl and dead and Logan starting a war over the throne. No, the walking no dead. I know Carl and the walking dead. For help. I have no I clue. Have a feeling oh. tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Logan without our Lehman. Of course we'll help. This isn't our battle. You want my help? You don't know me. Of course we'll help. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend mm. with elsewhere. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. This means more yeah, to He's just going to go ahead her. and ignore her. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I am on my way. I want to discuss the situation with you. Tell me more about yourself. Um, tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. <laughs> Come on now. Is knowing a little about you so much to ask? That's true. Ah, that's true. I mean no offense. I just don't want to spend what little time we have left chatting instead of preparing. All right. I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. You have some R.O. Eamon's knights here. Why are you in the chantry with the villagers? What exactly are the th these things that attack the village? So what happens after the battle is over? I should get back to work. Um, you have some of R.O. Eamon's knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Quest? Their search for the urn of the sacred ashes? I'm not sure, perhaps. Uh, their search for the sacred ashes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Why are you in the chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. 
The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Uh, won't that look cowardly? Do you need more men here with you, should things go amiss? Uh, should things go amiss? Should the monsters find their way in? I would prefer not to fight in the Chantry, but if they come, then so must it be. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Um, so what happens after this battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. There had better be a reward after all this. What exactly are these things that attack the village? I should get back to work. Uh, what exactly are these things? I do not Gary know. told me I'm dead, but... walking corpses. Men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with Okay, the so the same thing that you stated earlier. Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing. None of them pleasant. Should get back. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Luck be with you indeed, my love. Because I don't mean to add any more extra or any... Uh, pressure on you, but if you don't prepare the best, people can and will die. <laughs> and if you do prepare the best, and I don't perform during the attack, Death people can still die. In the wow. art thou so, uh, pressure's on for you. It's time for you to prepare and make practical decisions. You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Is there a reason I shouldn't help be grateful when we win the battle? I have my own reasons to be here. I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. I don't need a human god's gratitude. Um, I cannot stand by while monsters attack helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth and the maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I would like your blessing. Just how safe is this chantry? I should go. Just how safe is this chantry? It's the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly, and children will stay here during the battle while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Ban Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. I would like your blessing, I should go. Has anything really happened from the blessing? Ah, uh, let's take our blessing. You would? That is, I mean, of course. I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who yeah, seeks this like this is some bullshit. Uh, Meanwhile, Liliana's like, hell yeah. Thou who seeks <laughs> this return. Blessed is the prophetess. His daughter sacrificed to the holy. And Alistair and you are just like May the chant cool. reach the maker's ears mm. and tell him of our contrition. When will they be back? Awesome, so you got a blessing. I'm scared. Villager child, what I don't think they're important. Soon yeah. You're a grey warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? Oh, I think she's the one that the uh, will is for. To bring the chant of light to the chastened. Oh, but I haven't heard from them since. Uh, are you Jetta? I don't have time for this. You've heard of me? I have something here from your husband. Your husband and son are both dead. Just a hunch. Take care. I have something here from your husband. They're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this, oh no. I'm yeah. Sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. I want to go home. Where's Quest complete. Hell yeah. 
got absolutely nothing but experience. <laughs> Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. What? Are you alright? Why are you crying? Who are you? You're not bothering me. Good. I'll leave you to your sniveling. Uh, are you alright? Why are you crying? Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. Ooh, you're How going terrible. crazy. You poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry, I'll look for him. Why would he run off, do you know? Have you tried looking for your brother? What would you give to find him? You need to be strong, girl. I need to go. Why would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. <laughs> Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that Everyone would be ignores awful. Morgan. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll look for him. Have you tried looking for him? Um, don't worry, I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Our Please quest goes by him. pretty fast. Violence girl. You want the child missing child. You? But night is coming. The I'm too old to fight. The monsters make it to the chantry. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Not as frustrating as having to watch you in there with the women and children, you coward. <laughs> Militia, that's the dude we have to talk to for the main quest. You want to look around though? Or no, we should probably just talk to him for now, huh? Surprise attack before the sun goes down. Um, what should we do? You don't want to look around and look for And hope he might give us more tasks to do. Oh, okay. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Looks like they do. I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? And why would you think that? Well, they do. I don't think Darkspawn care who kills them. Um. I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got <laughs> repaired and quickly or half of us. Shut your ass up. Just tell me what either. to do. <laughs> Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I'll see what I can do. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? Nobody else can do the, these repairs. Is there anything else you need? Uh, why does he refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. Oh, he demanded we attack tough. the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Wow. Um. Um. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Is there anything else? Have you spoken to Owen? Is he not the most stubborn fool you've ever met? Is yes, is there anything else? Use some do? extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Tell me about Dwin. I want to discuss something else. Carry on. Uh, tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Uh, right, carry on then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Okay, so find a kid, talk to the... Blacksmith and talk to some dwarf. Which one do you want to try to do first? Um, look for the kid. Let's do him in order. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's talk to Dwin first. Dwin the dwarf? Oh, no, uh, Owen, sorry. Oh, the blacksmith? Yeah. I think that's there, yep. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen, the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Who are you? Intimidate. 
Open this door, I'll break it down. I haven't taken anything at all. You're mistaken. Sorry, I'll leave you be. Um, is this Owen the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Persuade. I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? I need to talk about repairs for the militia. I need something smithing done. Smithing? Um, intimidate. Never mind who I am. Open the door. I'll break it down. Nothing. Forget I was here. Uh, let's persuade. Mm. All right. All right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Attack. Don't give us Just a reason kidding. to make trouble. Mm -hmm. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Uh, call me Jade. My name is Jade Grey Warden Helping Ben Tegan. I do mind, actually. Uh, my name is Jade, a Grey Warden Helping Ben. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny, you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected <laughs> that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular What's you besotted? wanted? No clue, but he's been drinking, so maybe drinking? <laughs> Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? Phew, smells like the brewery in here. The militia needs your help desperately. What do you know about what's going on? So the smithy is closed? I should go. Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Oh, so you intend to drink yourself to death. I will rescue your daughter. He can't send anyone. That's insane. Or you could work to help save her. Sounds fair enough. I'll rescue her. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go with and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. And what if she's dead? What about the militia? They need your help. Forget it. I've got better things to do. Um, I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. Oh, God. Well, promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you I'll find her. What's stopping me from lying to you? But no one can get in the castle right now. I'm not promising you anything. I promise you I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? <laughs> and I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the I smithy I forgot going just out. how obvious it is that everybody if you need is oblivious done, of Morgan even being there. Because <laughs> she's just saying the most smart-ass of comments now, and they're just like, anyway. Excuse me. Right. <laughs> Morgan disapproves, minus five. Morgan, you could get fucked. She disapproves of everything. Wait, did he did he agree to make the weapons? He said, I'm going to get the smithy going again. Okay. We need to talk to Sir Perth, talk to Murdoch, tell him that Owens come around, and get Dwin to help the militia. Okay, cool. We'll tell you where we've done that after we've done everything you told us to do. Mm. See if we can find this Dwin fella. You said that he's a traitor. Yeah, I'm just going toward the little arrow things on the map. Oh. Hello. Knock on door. Lock picking. Pick the door. Lock on the, lock on the door. Break open the lock. Hello. Uh, knock on the door. Lock picking. Well, we're not good at that. You want to switch to Liliana and have her do it? Uh. Or do you still want to try anyway? No, switch to Le Leliana. It's done. Why is it still showing us? Yeah, that's weird. Can you pick the lock? On my way. 
Nope, it's still us. You want to break it open? Yeah. Cool. Can we go in there? Wonderful. Intruders. <laughs> I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You should answer it. Intimidate. We'll go where we like unless you'd like to stop us. I apologize. I don't mean harm. I think I'll be going. Uh, I apologize. I don't mean harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. <laughs> Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. What are you doing? Shut up in here. I think I'll be going. Murdoch's... Uh... What are you doing? Shut up in here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You're a coward. You'll die in here just as easily as you would out there. You should be out there helping defend the village. That's sensible attitude, I'd say. It just doesn't make any sense to hold up here alone. Ah, uh, you'll die in here just as easily as you would out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can I change your mind? Intimidate. Either die out there or here and now. Stay in here then if you prefer. <laughs> can I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. How about gold? I'll hire you, hire you to fight for the village. That'll probably get him. Persuade. What about a little more personal reward? <laughs> Is that a sexy thing? I think so. Oh, God. I don't know because I just intimidated the shit out of him. <laughs> Persuade. I'll put in a good word for you with Van Tegan or the Arl. Intimidate. You go and I don't cut off your head. How about that? Stay in here then if you prefer. I'll put in a word for Van Tegan. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Mm. Okay, intimidate. <laughs> So, I didn't do this one. I did the last one. Down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Honestly, I thought you were going to fail that one because you're really, really nice and dwarves, especially the manliest of dwarves, respond to manliness. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always give people two opportunities. If still they're still jerks, then they die. <laughs> I didn't even give a what. I was like, either die here and now or die out there tonight. And he's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just because I'm an orc. Oh, you were an orc when you were playing this? No, I'm an orc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, she doesn't have the sufficient skill to lockpick that? Why? She disappoints me. Like, did her things change by accident or something? Lamp oil in these barrels? No, it's just, it's a harder lock. Okay, so we found oil in here and that's about it. Although, since we can come in here, there's got to be a reason to later, huh? Yeah. And this has got to be Caitlyn's home. Yep. He's in here. I swear, this lady sucks. Oh, her little brother? Oh. <laughs> hello, is someone in there? Whatever's inside the dresser, come out now. Uh, hello, someone in there. Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? <laughs> Bevan, is that you? You should be in the chantry. Come out. Open the dresser. Bevan, is that you? How? How do you know my name? I spoke to your sister in the Chantry. I'm Caitlin's friend. Caitlin told me. I spoke to your sister in the Chantry. Did, did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Why do you hate the Chantry so much? Don't you think your sister might be worried about you? Why are you hiding in there? It's not safe. I don't care. Come out or I'll drag you out. Then I guess you can stay in here. Why do you hate it? Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that mother died. I I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. From in there? Then I guess you can stay in here. Uh, from in there? No. No. I just heard you coming and 
I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Oh, he's so little. I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. First, tell me what you were doing in there. Your sister's looking for you, you know? Is this your house? I'm not going to hurt you. Go get lost. Uh, first tell me what you were doing in there. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Persuade. Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. T uh, pers uh, intimidate. Tell me. I don't like secrets. Go back to your sister then. She's worried sick. All right. Go run off. Um, Persuade. You could. All right. I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. And grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took mother. Where's the sword now? You don't think you're a bit too young to fight? You had the right idea. You're indeed very brave. What a foolish boy. Don't make me laugh. Uh, where's the sword now? In the chest. In mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Okay. Perhaps I could help you and your sister in return. Persuade, but I could use that sword to help the village. Intimidate. Hand it over now. Don't worry about it. Go back to your sister. Fine. I'll run off. Um, perhaps I could help you and your sister in return. You could? Maybe you could give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be all right. Even if mother is dead. I'll talk to your sister about it, I promise. Persuade, but I could use that sword to help the village. Uh, I'll talk to your sister about it. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Spending your hard-earned money. <laughs> Persuasive. She didn't even persuade him. I guess you persuaded him to tell the secret. I did. <laughs> oh, there it is. The green blade, Viridium. Ooh, it is better than what we got. So I guess we will take this blade and we will give our blade to Alistair. All right, so he went back to the Chantry with his sister. Ciao. Ah, who was that? Talking. No clue. Wow, it seems really empty out here. Compared to where we were in the... Where all the refugees were. Yeah, it definitely does. It's a good thing that I know where everything is. Because <laughs> they haven't even told you, like... Oh, do this and do that. It's like, I think the game expects you to run up on it. Legends of Lake Kellenhad. Um, the waters of Lake Kellenhad are steeped in legends. The Anvar people say that it was once the site of Bellinas, the mountains which stood on the center of the world, from which court the mountain father of the survey father surveyed earth and sky, but it was destroyed in the battle between Court and the serpent Nathramar, leaving only a vast water be vast crate vast crater behind. When the Lady of the Skies saw that Bellinas was gone, she wept and her tears filled the crater, making it the lake. The Tevinters believe that the waters of the lake Kalanhad were blessed by Razik Kale, god of mysteries, and that those who drank from them were granted special insights. This is why they built the great tower on the island in the middle of the lake, hoping that the powers of the lake would aid their magical research. But most of us know the legend, legend of King Kalanhad, which gives the place its name. It is what Kalanhad therein spent a year and a day in the Tower of the Magi. Each day he drew a single cup of water from the lake and carried it to the former at the top of the tower. By magic, each cup the water was forged into a single ring of the male armor the circle gave to Kalanhad. And that armor made from the lifeblood of land itself. No blade could strike him, no arrow pierce him, so long as he stood on the Ferelden soil. That's a pretty optimistic uh, legend. It's almost like he's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody is. Alright, uh, well, 
that was enough for today. We will go ahead and continue helping out Red Cliff Village on the next one. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will catch you then.